the star clock of ancient Egypt. Humans have been fascinated by the concept of time for millennia. It is believed that our curiosity first took root in ancient Egypt. The Egyptians were some of the first people to divide daytime and nighttime stages into smaller units. Long before wristwatches and alarm clocks, they invented a tool known as a maquette, meaning instrument of knowing, which was an important milestone in our quest to understand and measure the passage of time. The design of the maquette was rather simple. It was an L-shaped bar made from wood, metal or bone. A piece of rope or string with a small weight called a plumb bob was attached to its end. In order to use the tool effectively, two people with a comprehensive knowledge of astronomy had to stand one opposite the other at a distance of two or three meters. Each one held a maquette. The first person held the maquette at arm's length so that the plumb bob would hang vertically and aligned it with the North Star. The second person sat between the first person and the North Star, holding their maquette in such a way so that it was aligned to the first person's maquette. The space between them would create a perfect line running from north to south, a meridian. Once the meridian was established, they observed the stars crossing it while rising or setting. By studying the angle of the crossings and the intervals between the stars rising and setting, they were able to calculate the time of the night. In essence, the star's rotation around the North Star functioned in the same way that an hour hand rotates around the center of a modern-day clock. The importance of the maquette can only be properly appreciated in the context of the era in which it was invented. Until its creation, people had very limited means of telling the time. The use of sundials had proved reasonably effective during the daylight, but naturally these were rendered useless after nightfall. Water clocks, or clepsydrae, were used to some extent, but lacked the desired precision. The maquette was a huge leap forward, as it allowed people to measure time with pinpoint accuracy without the use of the sun. What's more, the maquette proved to be useful in more than just astronomy and timekeeping. The accuracy of the instrument and its ability to measure straight lines, both vertically and horizontally, meant that it served a similar purpose to a modern-day spirit level. In fact, it provided such precise measurements that it may even have been used in the construction of the Great Pyramids at Giza. Ancient Egyptians used symbols and pictures called hieroglyphs to record their history. Since their society predated written history as we understand it, it has been difficult for historians to acquire accurate information regarding that time period. However, the use of the maquette has been confirmed. In the temples of Dendera and Edfu, it is still possible to see wall carvings which depict it in use. Not only that, there is even an authentic maquette on permanent display in the Science Museum in London. It is said to date back as far as 600 BC.